you would think, oh, yeah, and I'd be watching the clock, but we made it not sound like that. So I would say, well, Margaret, you take care and we'll catch up soon. Now the news. <laughs> anyway, it's very nice talking to you again. God, in a privilege, do you find you've got a built-in alarm clock? So when you sit down, you'll put the television on and the news starts. Usually, yes. That's, yes. yes, I do that, yes. It's wonderful. But even now, if, I was, if somebody said to me, can you count 25 seconds? Well, in my mind's eye, I can see the clock in the control yes. room going one, two, three. So I can count pretty accurately because I can just see the clock in my mind's eye. Well, still, you, you see, know. you were that rare hybrid creature, the unicorn of broadcasting, because... You had both sides of it, and um, and and still, you know, um, I can talk for ten seconds. Yes. You know, if somebody well, says, "Right, talk else. for ten seconds," I'll say, "There you are." You know, I started my broadcasting career on the yeah. radio and with Children's Hour on BBC, then STV, and then back on the radio and finishing up announcing on BBC. So I've been very grateful for all Oh, not at all, gone. It's been a privilege to be listening to you. What I was going to say to you, did you start with Kathleen Garskadden? That's correct, Kathleen, Anti -Kath. yes. Anti-Kath. I was with Kathleen, yes. Yes, and, uh, wonderful. There's, a, there's actually a, a, on BBC website, there's actually a, a clip of Kathleen being interviewed by Cliff Hanley many years ago. It was wonderful to see that again, yeah. Oh, wonderful. And was Melville Dinwiddie... Still involved at the BBC then? I, I don't think so. No, no. that was about 19... Uh, that'd be 57. 50 yes, fantastic. Yeah, no, I mean, I there were, so I've time. said... And there was two. There was an Andrew Stewart. That's right, Andrew Stewart. Yes, Andrew Stewart yes. was, was a controller as well. I remember these names. And, uh, and the Gaelic singer, um, Neil McLean. That's it, yes, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Wonderful, oh, great, Gordon, wonderful. What a privilege to talk to you, and uh, and lovely to hear you. You're sounding just as fantastic as ever. <laughs> and nice to speak to you, Scotty. We'll speak, up, we'll speak soon again. I hope so, Gordon. Bless you, and thanks again. It's a pleasure. Happy Bye. New Year, sir. Thank there you. we are. Bye. That's, uh, guys, that's one of the loveliest people you could ever hope to meet. I mean, a real consummate professional. And Gordon joined us as one of the first announcers on Scottish television in 1957. I worked with him in the early 80s. I was privileged to work with Gordon. By that time, he was a senior transmission controller responsible for everything that you saw happening on your screens. Just amazing. And there he is phoning us up uh, tonight and sounding absolutely fantastic. He could be reading.